engrave this backing paper, you will need it for the template. backing that I peeled off the first tile and I'm going to use this as a template because the edges are kind of messed up to straighten them out I just iron with a hot iron don't worry it's not gonna burn the paper and now I'm going to trim where the actual tile ended. You can still see the indentation. Place template down as shown. Mark where the first cut will be at the beginning of the doorway. Make the first cut. Slide template in. Here I'm marking around the bottom of the doorway. And now I'm going to score the corner edge of the template with my finger and then mark the line with a pencil. Cut off the excess paper. Check to make sure it fits. This is what I will be cutting, but to make it easier to mark it, I flip it over and place the tile upside down, and then I place the template upside down as well. This makes it easier to mark it. Here I am outlining the stencil onto the tile. I'm using a level because that's what I had handy, but you can definitely use a ruler. With an X-Acto knife, press hard and try to do one solid line. And I'm going to cut this one line. I'm going to cut right here to make it easier to remove that cutout piece. There we go. Okay, here the tile has been trimmed and cut. And let's see how this fits. There. Okay, pretty good. And of course, this is going to be filled in with caulking. The method is the same, but I had an issue with the tile and I will show you how I corrected the problem. Mark where the first cut will be. And the second cut. around the doorway and along the baseboard. Those are the pieces I will be trimming off. Okay, back to the cutting table. 
just want to share these beautiful roses that I got from my hubby for Valentine's Day. Oh, are they beautiful? Okay, back to work. Once again, mark your tile. First one wasn't deep enough. Okay, I had an issue with this tile. I cut it everywhere I was supposed to. But when I peeled it off, I damaged this part right here and this part peeled off. So this is basically unusable. I mean, you, I could use it and maybe try to hide this with caulking, but I don't like to do that. I'm too much of a perfectionist. So I did something different. New tile, I traced it, but instead of trying to cut this out in one piece I've decided to make a few small cuts with scissors and see if this might work all right that came out nicely this one let's see how it pops out just wait a little bit there we go okay okay this one came up a bit better so now we're gonna cut that line right there Second tile is done, shaved and cut to go around this doorway and it fits perfect. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. To see the full video on how I install these tiles in this laundry room, click on the link below. The links to my other Glam Laundry Room makeover videos are down below as well. This is a work in progress, so stay tuned. 
If you want to help my channel grow and I want to keep up with what I'm doing, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.